Glenn Johnston is accompanying his mother Agnes to the offices of the Zimbabwe Commercial Farmers Union to begin the process for obtaining government compensation. She was displaced from her farm about 17 years ago. They are cautious about the government promise of partial compensation for their seized land. It's a promise on top of a promise, basically. It looks like we're getting, we've been promised that we, steps have been taken. So now we are taking these steps, yeah. Will we get the money at the end of the day? Obviously time will tell. President Emerson Munangagwa was quoted Sunday in state media as promising the partial compensation program for white farmers. Meanwhile, the Zimbabwe Commercial Farmers Union has received close to 1,000 applications for compensation which it will submit to the government. Union head Ben Gilpin says Munangagwa's pledge comes at a good time as Zimbabwe observes its independence. I think for many people the last 20 independences have come and gone without such promises being even hinted at and now the promises that uh, this is being dealt with seriously so we appreciate that. From the point of view of Zimbabwe how is this independence compared to others? It's a tough independence we all know that. Munanga was a ruling ZANPF party says it hopes Zimbabwe's strained relations with the West will fall now that the government has agreed to pay former white commercial farmers. The ruling party also hopes the economy will improve. Our president has demo demonstrated uh, uh, to the world how generous he can be because he has agreed to pay people what they are not supposed to pay, to be paid. You cannot be, you cannot expect to pay a, a housebreaker for breaking into your house and this is what happened here using a gun but we are saying at least it's important that we we compensate for their for their sweat but when that happens then the international world must accept Zimbabwe in the uh, global family again economically and politically <laughs> Until now, Zimbabwe's government had refused to compensate white commercial farmers as a way to show the country's total independence from Britain. But critics say the seizure of the land from white commercial farmers is the reason for Zimbabwe's ailing economy. Columbus Mavunga, for VOA News, Harare.